Welcome learners to Form 1 Mathematics. I'd like us to practice on how to solve simultaneous equations by substitution method. By substitution method. We look at these two. 5m plus 2n is equals to 19. 5m minus 4n is equals to 1. How do you solve them by substitution method? Come and label this first equation as equation 1. Add this as equation 2. Learn. From there, pick either the first equation or the second. Let us pick the first. 5m plus 2n is equal to 19. We have picked the first. Now, make either m or n the subject of the formula. Make either m or n the subject of the formula. So let us take m as the, uh, make m the subject. So 5m will be equals to 19. Taking this positive 2n to the other side, it becomes minus 2n. Okay? Then, from there, learner, make m the subject. How? By dropping this 5. Divide both sides by 5. Divide the other side by 5. So that and that will cancel out. So m lana is equals to 19 minus 2n over 5. There we are. So call this, you can call this number 3. From here lana, you now go and substitute this m where in the other equation that is equation number two don't substitute it in the first one substitute it in the other equation and therefore that is equation two so where you have m here lana you fix 19 n 19 minus 2 n over 5 so we go 3 in brackets 19 minus 2 n over 5 then you continue, you say minus, I think I can use another pen, minus, minus what? You continue, 4n is equals to 1. Look at that, Lana. Where you have m in the second equation, fix 19 minus 2n over 5. And you substitute it correctly. There we are. Remove this bracket up here. 3 multiplied by uh, 19 is 57. 57 minus 3 times 2n is 6n. All this over 5. Then you continue. Minus 4n is equals to 1. From there, Lana, remove this denominator by multiplying every term here by 5. So multiply here. 5 okay multiply this by 5 and multiply the last one by 5 to remove the denominator so 5 and 5 will cancel out and therefore what will you be left with 57 minus 6n minus 5 times 4n gives us 20n is equals to 1 times 5 which is 5 land from there Take their like terms together. So take 57 to the other side. And so here it will be left with minus 6n minus 20n is equals to 5. Taking this to the other side, it becomes negative. Take care of the sides, Lana. Negative 57. So you come here and put them together. Negative 6n minus 20n will give you what, Lana? Negative 6, negative 20 gives us negative 26 n. You do it accurately. Then 5 minus 57 lan is negative 52. Okay. Now we have negatives on both sides. You can cancel them out. So 26 n is equal to 52. Divide by 26, divide by 26. And therefore, your n lan is what? Your n is 2. That is your n. So from there, lan, 
how do you find your m you go and substitute this n either in the first equation or the second you take your n is 2 you come and either fix it here or here let us fix it in the first okay we fix it lana we talk of 5m plus 2 where you had n you now fix your 2 okay you fix your 2 here is equals to what 19 from the first equation and therefore lana we talk of 5m plus 2 times 2 is 4 is equals to 19. So 5m lana is equals to 19. Take positive 4 to the other side, it becomes minus. So 5m is equals to 15. Divide by 5 lana, divide by 5. Okay, divide by 5, divide by 5. 5 will cancel out. And therefore your m lana is 3. Good. So, Lana, go and practice on how to solve uh, simultaneous equations uh, by substitution method. You either take the first or the second and you make a letter to be the subject of the formula. We've taken the first equation and we've made M the subject of the formula. M the subject of the formula by taking this to the other side and then divided by 5 there by 5 and we've got our M here from the first equation. Then substitute this line in the second equation. Here we are, second equation. Come and fix it here. Fixing it here correctly, you remove the brackets correctly, Rem uh, remove this denominator by multiplying everywhere by 5, there you are, you flow down, you get your n is 2, substitute this 2 in either the first or the second equation, Lana, so that you are able to get your m. Yes, learners, go and practice on this. Thank you, God bless you.